Okay, so everybody, take your chairs to a place where you can see the screen properly. Sit on the edge of your chair, slightly ahead like we always do. A dining chair is fine, even a stool is okay. See that your feet are parallel, so keep them apart because even if you keep your feet closer, your knees will flop out. They are all so tight. So spread your legs a little more, roll your toes in and open all the ten toes. They are in front of your eyes. Look, open, place them, grip all the fingers, the toes, gripping the ground. And then slightly lean forward to hold the legs of your chair. Look straight ahead on the ground. Lengthen your neck. Move the shoulders by pulling the chair. Shoulders back and down. Neck long. Tuck your chin a little bit. So feel that pulling action of the chair. How it is moving those shoulder blades back. Lift your frontal armpit chest up. Then maintaining those arms, try to keep them where they are as you sit with your shoulder traction and slowly sit straight. Grip the chair legs, look straight in high level. Feel your right side, left side, right foot, right hip, right shoulder, left foot, left hip, left shoulder. Create that symmetry as you are sitting on a height. Your favorite chairs. So every day you are just plonking on the chairs longer and longer. So now sit upright on that chair by gripping your hands. With your inhalation, ascend your frontal body, descend your back body. Ascend your frontal body, maintaining that. Exhale. And then close your eyes. Be there for a few breaths. Feel your back ribs. Spread them and move the back ribs forward. To the grip of the chair. Spread your frontal body, back body. Breath by breath. Ascend your frontal body with the pulling of your arms, the tractional action at your shoulders. Feel it. Keep the neck open, sides of the neck, front of the neck. When you release your palms one by one slowly, do not lose this height traction. Palms on your thighs, facing the ceiling. Join your thumb and pointer, Dhyana Mudra. For Om, five times, inhale. Uh, many poses are 
aimed at preparation for Padmasana. So yes, Padmasana is a very challenging pose. At the same time, an amazing pose to learn, to sit in for breathing. The best part about Padmasana is when you learn your full Padmasana and sit for any breathing practices, you don't tend to fall over. Even if you are gone so much inwards, you are not aware of what is happening around. Padmasana doesn't let you fall forward or fall back. So very good pose to do for uh, breathing, sitting practices. At the same time, very good pose to release your tight hips with all the sitting, the housework. So the main thing is you may or may not land at Padmasana or even half Padmasana. Enjoy the journey. All the preparatory poses are going to help you with your hip, thigh, lower back, inner thighs. Okay? So the important part is to enjoy your journey. Now be there and join your legs together, feet together, knees together, thighs together, ankles together. So you are almost in like a sitting Tadasana. Sit straight, sit tall, keep your palms by the sides. Roll your shoulders back. Look straight in eye level. And give a good ascendance so you are not heavy on the chair. Feet are grounded but hips are lighter to lift your spine and then with this lightness Udhastasana extend your arms in front first move your arms into the socket move your arms into the socket lengthen lock your elbows as you take your hands up the locking of the elbows should not go the shoulder blades moving down and broadening should not go now exhale completely navel to the spine inhale and ascend up Inhale and lift up. Keep ascending from your side ribs, from your navel. Squeeze your thighs together. Ground your legs and use your breath to become taller. Stay there. Move that arm into the socket now. As you stay there, further there should be a gap between your upper arm and the ear. Lock your elbows. Now move your arms towards and behind the ears. Be there. Do not arch your lower back. So exhale more and more and more. And then after that inhale to lengthen your lower back. Lift your body higher. Lift your arms. Lift your chest. Lift your navel. Lift your pelvis. Lift your pubis. Up maximum. Slowly front. And down. Feet together. Knees together thighs together. This time hands to the sides. Now stay there. Keep your fingers together. Okay. And extend your arms out. So now you get a width. When you take your palms up this time, watch this width. Stay there. Stay there. Broad and wide and spread. And then turn your palms towards the ceiling. Stay there. Extend your little finger side outward and roll the bicep to the tricep. Roll the frontal armpit chest up as you roll your bicep. Move the back armpit chest down. Exhale completely, elbows locked. Inhale to come up. Inhale and up. Udhastasana. Raise your body higher. Become light on your hips. You are almost in your Utkadasana in the chair. Knees together, thighs together, grip, knees together and raise your body, your send up. Now raise your head up, eyes up, chin up and curve the hands behind the ears. Exhale, tummy tuck. Inhale, raise the arms up and behind the ears, head back, curve the back. But tuck your tailbone, tuck your navel. Again, inhale, a sentence, curve from the back, ribs. Don't go from your lower back and go back, go back, go back maximum. Slowly come forward and release your hands. Inhale and exhale. Breathe. This time, Garudasana. So last time we did right hand over the left. So I am also doing my right hand. So it may look opposite to you. And then crawl your hands at that shoulder bone. Can you find a shoulder bone? Keep moving. Keep moving. So give a nice hug to the chest. 
elbows up in line with your shoulders and then garuda asana relax your shoulders relax your jaws face forehead smile do not frown do not tighten only let the shoulder work happen move the shoulders down away from the neck move the shoulders away sideways and down and release stretch your hands out interchange left elbow upper arm over the right and hug your chest and take your hands towards the shoulder bone and raise your upper arms a little higher holding the back you are holding the back first grip the shoulder bones move your hands further 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 so especially for those who find garudasana difficult to entwine come on that left elbow has to move towards the right upper arm and now garudasana look straight breathe
Bend your right knee, you can hold the chair wall anything and then move your back leg back. Move your back leg back. Back leg is 45 degrees, you know warrior one. And front knee bend deeper and holding the chair, raise your chest up. Ground and pound your back heel into the ground, feel that calf extension. Take your right foot slightly ahead in the chair, bend your knee deeper. Take your back leg a little closer if the heel is not touching. But knee has to bend and then your chest has to go up. Take your back leg closer and bend your knee more. So don't try to first only go far, okay? So your right thigh has to be parallel to the chair. So do that first. So you can lift your chest up. And then crawl your back leg back one or two inches. Stay there. Stay there. Back leg push. Pound that back heel into the ground, squeeze the back kneecap up and thigh move to the bone. Hamstring move to the bone, left buttock long into you and front thigh pushing back, hip pushing forward, hamstring pushing forward. Get ready, right finger down, Badangli Asan. Udha Badangli Asan. You have to shift your weight to your left heel, shift your weight to your left heel and do not push the chair. You have to step on the chair. Looks like a higher up. Bend your front knee deeper. Bend your front knee deeper. Raise your arms up and behind the ears now. Front knee bend, back leg push. Arms up and behind the ears. Back leg stay on your back leg. Knee straight up. Breathe. Stay. And release. Come up. Change. Left leg up. Hold your chair. Bend your knee first before bothering about the back leg. So front knee first bend. Come closer to the chair. And hold the chair legs. So your ribs have to lift upwards from that thigh. And raise your chest up. Now you can take your back leg a little behind to challenge that back Drawing thigh, front of the thigh, calf. And bend your front knee deeper and raise your head up, chin up, look straight. Shift your mind to your back leg. Left finger down. Udha, Badhanvriyasana. And now ascend that tummy up from that left thigh. That tummy lies on the left thigh. Ascend it upwards. Look a little higher and breathe. Stay there, stay there. Push your back leg. Lift yourself taller. Take your hands behind the ears and unfold your body. Unfold your body. Breathe. Slowly release. Rest in Uttanasana. Take your right leg up on the wall. 
Left leg should be in Tadasan. Look at your left leg. That is why I say take support of the chair so that you can adjust your bottom leg. So I am telling you to take a support for now. Okay. We are going to stay there. We are going to stay there. So support is good to start aligning so that your back is not rounding, your right hip is not moving forward, left leg is grounded. In the center, stay there. Focus, balance, lift, higher and higher and higher. Those who can reach the foot, hold the foot. Not on the wall, but in the center. And then everybody raise your hands up. Urvastasana, raise your eyes up. Don't look down, look slightly higher. Breathe, stay, grip your legs, stay, lift your body higher, be there, lift your body up, strap people, balance a little more. Release and change. Left leg goes up on the wall. The ones with the strap in the center, just wait. I will tell you when to go up. Otherwise you will start falling all the time. Okay, so let them adjust at the wall first. So people at the wall stand straight, look at your bottom leg, let it be in Tadasan. Look at your bottom knee, it has to be straight and both knees straight. In the center, start. At the wall, raise your hands up. In the center, left hand can hold the belt and the right hand can come up. Belt, foot, whatever you want. Raise your body taller. Unfold that body. Come on everybody, unfold the frontal body. Stay there, stabilize. Balance, breathe, stabilize, balance. One more time, lift all up. Come back to center, second round. Right leg up, on the wall in the center. With the strap, without the strap. Raise your hands up, be there. Next round, Parangushthasan 2. Wall people will stay um, with the right leg going on the wall. So you may have to turn around, just watch and then start. So again, you have the support of your chair. You are going to take your right leg on the wall and then adjust your distance from the wall. Not too far, not too close. You can stay supported with the chair. You can take one hand on your foot, extend the other hand out. Okay? So stay there. Now those in the center. Same way. Take your right foot up in the strap, knee to the side. So this time the leg is opening to the side. Everybody there. Padamutthasan 2. Foot to the side and extend your arms alongside your shoulders. Left hand, right hand wide. Be there. Release. Change. Left.
and go to the wall to down dog for a break. So palms on the ground, heels on the wall. Everyone stay in down dog. Feel free to take your heels down after all the work we did on the legs or not. Push the ground, lock your elbows and breathe. Few more breaths, come on, push back with your heels. Push back with your heels, push with your palms, chest to the thighs. And slowly come up, walk forward and come up. So, we are going to a number 4 stretch on the chair near the wall. That becomes easier than taking the hands down and then we are going to one leg standing Padmasana. So you are sitting away from the wall, just watch once and we will start together with enough time and extend your hand so you get a flat body. Okay, so everybody sit on your chair, extend your palms on your wall, your table, your bed also if you want. Feet apart. Raise your head to look, chin, eyes to look towards the wall slightly so that you start opening up your frontal body and push the wall with your arms. So your hands are strong and long almost like your down dog. Open the palm fingers well and push the wall with your palms. Lock your elbows and look at your elbow joint, eye of the arm, elbow has to face each other. And now unfold your right side ribs ahead, left side ribs ahead, shoulders moving back, hips moving down towards the heels. Exhale more and more. And now come to sitting. So you have taken your distance from the wall. Maybe after one try you can again go closer if you need to. Now get your legs in the center, join your legs. Take your right ankle on the left knee, that's all. This is like a number four stretch. Okay, so now if you feel the wall is too far, you can't go so flat, you go closer to the wall. Okay, and now take your fingertips or palms on the wall. Now this is a deep stretch for some of you. Then take your chair closer and take your hands a little higher. And start extending. Feel that right hip and thigh. This is your preparation for Padmasana. Roll the right thigh down. Roll that right thigh femur into the socket. So I'd like I tell you arms in the socket. The hip is a socket and the femur is that ball which has to move into the socket. So roll your groin from in to out. Roll your thigh from in to out and move the thigh back and into the hip socket as we exhale more and more. Move the thigh into the socket. Extend your hand, extend your body now flatter, take your hands a little lower. You can drop your head, breathe. Breathe, come up, change. So as you keep your left ankle on top, roll that thigh into out. And go forward. Find out which hip is tighter. Of your foot on the thigh. 
and then go forward, take your hands to the wall and slightly bring that knee towards the other thigh. Don't let that knee go wide out somewhere roaming. Okay? The right knee has to come in towards your left thigh and go forward. Up, up, up. 
up, lift, and release your leg. Ha! Time to sit, rest, but uh, the handstand and Shishasan people, I would like you to go to your handstand. Okay? So, I am just going to show you one thing. Others may just sit on the chair, rest. So, first handstand will be with the palms as we keep usually and you are going to tuck your chin. You are going to stay there at least 10 counts. Okay, I am going to show you two things. One is the handstand and one is the shirshasana. What we are doing. Then only you go to your poses. So, one is your regular handstand with the chin tuck. The other one is the palm position. Two handstand. Tucking your chin and lifting higher. Okay, so that's the first thing you will do. Right leg, left leg, lifting higher. Tuck your chin to look towards your chest and raise. Okay, so right leg, left leg, keep going, keep practicing. That's your handstand. Now in Shirshasan, today I am going to do one leg. Okay, your hips are opened up. So you are nice, stay close to the wall. Those who cannot balance. And we are going to one leg Shirshasan. So just observe and then you will be left on your own. And I will start the timer in Shirshasan. So when you go there, coming up to your Shirshasan. So you are going to take one leg forward. So the other leg has to be firm. You can stay halfway or you can touch the ground. Then bring it back. So about five counts. Right leg down. Five counts. Left leg down. Okay, so this will only begin when I tell you in Shishasana. You will settle down first, then I will tell you. Okay, so to handstand, people in the center, sit. Take a height, practicing Vatta Konasan, wide angle pose, etc. Sit on your cushion. Yeah, handstand, chin to chest. Chin to chest and lift up. Lift up. Okay, others who are in the center, sit on a height, keep your chair in front of you, you can take your cushion or whatever, sit in Vata Konasan, open your knees high drawing, and do it away from the wall. Hold your chair and sit tall. Keep opening those drawings.
Sit straight, sit tall first. Press your palms behind you. If you don't want to sit on height, sit flat. That's also good. Be there. Now, Shirshasana people, slowly, okay, with your left heel, firmly up or grounded, right leg to one leg Shirshasana. Ik Pad Shirshasana. So very slowly the right leg has to come two inches down at a time. Left leg has to lift up higher and higher and higher. So feel free to extend your left leg if you are touching the wall. And right leg forward and down, forward and down, forward and down. One more count in front of your face. You should be able to see it. And change. Other leg, wide angle, go forward. Go forward. Other leg. So left leg slowly start bringing down and push your right leg. Left leg bring down, push your right leg. Come on, bring it till your face. Your eyes should be able to look at your left foot. Shirshasan, be there, settle down. Others in the center, go as deep as you can. You want, you feel. One more round, Shirshasan. Right leg down. One, down, two, lower. 3, lower, 4, lower, 5, hold it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up, Shirshasana, settle, center yourself, balance once more. Center people come up, Baddha Konasana. Left leg Shirshasana, 1 leg, down, 1, down, 2, down. Lower in front of your face, four in front of your face, hold it, one, two, three, four, five, both legs up, Shishasan, stay there, rearrange, reorganize, lift your shoulders higher, lift your shoulders higher and higher, sharpen your legs, suction at your navel, Shishasan, two more minutes, be there. Now in the center, are we ready for half Padmasan, finally? So keep your left leg folded like cross leg and take your right leg up in Padmasana. Swing it two, three times if you are still tight. If you want to sit on a height, please sit. If you are tight, it's better to sit on a height. So you get the lumbar extension. You are not crunching at your lower back. So first just sit straight, sit tall. See that both your thighs are parallel. That right knee should not go wide somewhere. Okay. And then when you are ready, hands on the chair and push, push. So deepening your stretch if you want or just practice your half Padmasana. Go forward and down. Those who cannot reach the 
foot. We are going to twist in Bhadrasana. Sit on the cushion. Or two. So are you ready? Little height at your hips. Those who need the strap for on the foot for those who need. Right foot up. Madrasan. Sit straight, sit tall. Raise your arms up. Lift yourself taller, look straight. Be there for a few breaths. Take your arms up and behind the ears. Keep your hands up, up, up as you twist to your right. Left arm up and behind the ear, twist to your right. Twist your right, twist your right, and then throw your left hand on the knee, right fingertips further back, further back. You can hold your mat or your cushion and rotate that right side, right arm to chest more open. Get ready to throw your hand back or hold the strap or hold your foot. Observe, are you dropping to one side or 
observe your knees to wide. Exhaling more and more. And then but the Gonasin. Join the soles of your feet, cobbler's toes, and find out how is your Baddha Gonasin after all this. Practice of hip opening. Feel free with your palms to push those thighs gently back, opening up your Tadakunasa with the help of the wall. And as you exhale, hips long towards the wall, belly tilt. Drop there. Slowly inhale. Slowly exhale. Let your toes, just drop your toes side to side almost like your shasana. That will give a further release to your legs, your hip flexors, your thighs. Roll your toes out.
then slide back to Shavasana. A small Shavasana now, we're already quite rested. Move away from the wall. Thank you. 